Sea turtles are generally found in the waters over continental shelves. After taking to the water for the first time, males will not return to shore again. During the first three to five years of life, sea turtles spend most time in the pelagic zone, floating in seaweed beds. Once the sea turtle has reached adulthood, it moves closer to the shore. Females will come ashore to lay their eggs on sandy beaches during the nesting season. Sea turtles are almost always submerged and therefore have developed an anaerobic system of energy metabolism. Although all sea turtles breathe air, under dire circumstances they may divert to anaerobic metabolism for long periods of time. When surfacing to breathe, a sea turtle can quickly refill its lungs with a single explosive exhalation and rapid inhalation. Their large lungs have adapted to permit rapid exchange of oxygen and to avoid trapping gases during deep dives. Sea turtles feed on a wide range of animals and plants. They are mostly omnivorous in their adult life, except the green sea turtle, which is herbivorous. Some species feed on certain prey. Sea sponges are the principal food of hawksbill sea turtles, constituting 70 to 95 percent of their diets in the Caribbean. Leatherback turtles feed almost exclusively on jellyfish. The loggerhead has a greater list of known prey than any other sea turtle. Other food items include sponges, corals, sea pens, polychaete worms, sea anemones, cephalopods, barnacles, brachiopods, isopods, insects, bryzoans, sea urchins, sand dollars, sea cumbers, starfish, fish, including eggs, juveniles, and adults, hatchling turtles, including members of its own species, algae, and vascular plants. During migration through the open sea, loggerheads eat jellyfish, floating mollusks, floating egg clusters, squid, and flying fish. Animal prey consists of protochordates or invertebrates, which can be caught in shallow marine waters or estuarine habitats. Marine sea turtles are caught worldwide, although it is illegal to hunt most species in many countries. Many parts of the world have long considered sea turtles to be fine dining. Many coastal communities around the world depend on sea turtles as a source of protein, often harvesting several sea turtles at once and keeping them alive on their backs until needed. Coastal peoples gather sea turtle eggs for consumption. Leatherback sea turtles enjoy immunity from the sting of deadly box jellyfish and regularly eat them, helping keep tropical beaches safe for humans. Tortuguero Costa Rica have transitioned from a tourism industry that made profits from selling sea turtle meat and shells to an ecotourism based economy. Tortuguero is considered to be the founding location of sea turtle conservation. In the 1960s, the cultural demand for sea turtle meat, shells, and eggs was quickly killing the once abundant sea turtle populations that nested on the beach. The Caribbean Conservation Corporation began working with villagers to promote ecotourism as a permanent substitute to sea turtle hunting. Sea turtle nesting grounds became sustainable. Sea turtles play key roles in two ecosystem types that are critical to them as well as to humans. Oceans and beaches and dunes. In the oceans, sea turtles, especially green sea turtles, are one of the very few creatures, manatees or another, that eat the seagrass that grows on the sea floor. Seagrass needs to be constantly cut short to help it grow across the seafloor. Sea turtles act as grazing animals that cut the grass short and help maintain the health of the seagrass beds. Seagrass beds provide breeding and developmental ground for numerous species of fish, shellfish, and crustaceans. Without seagrass beds, many marine species humans harvest would be lost, as would the lower levels of the food chain. The reactions could result in many more marine species eventually becoming endangered or extinct. Sea turtles use beaches and the lower dunes to nest and lay their eggs. Dune vegetation is able to grow and become stronger with the presence of nutrients from sea turtle eggs, unhatched nests, eggs, and trapped hatchlings. As the dune vegetation grows stronger and healthier, the health of the entire beach and dune ecosystem becomes better. Of the seven species of sea turtles, five are listed on the IUCN Red List of Endangered Species as either endangered or critically endangered. Globally, the Kemp's Ridley, Hawksbill, and Leatherback sea turtles are listed as critically endangered, the loggerhead and green as endangered. 
all those sea turtles usually lay around 100 eggs at a time, on average only one of the eggs from the nest will survive to adulthood. While many of the things that endanger these hatchlings are natural, such as predators including sharks, raccoons, foxes, and seagulls, many new threats to the sea turtle species have recently arrived and increased with an ever-growing presence of humans. One of the most significant threats now comes from bycatch due to imprecise fishing methods. Long lining has been identified as a major cause of accidental sea turtle death. Make sure to watch Losing Nemo in Chapter 12 that discusses many of these issues. Sea turtles must surface to breathe. Caught in a fisherman's net, they are unable to surface and thus drown. Some relatively inexpensive changes to fishing techniques, such as slightly larger hooks and traps from which sea turtles can escape, can dramatically cut the mortality rate. Turtle excluder devices, or TEDs, have reduced sea turtle bycatch in shrimp nets by 97%. Another danger comes from marine debris, especially from abandoned fishing nets in which they can become entangled. Beach development is another area which threatens sea turtles. Since many sea turtles return to the same beach each time to nest, development can disrupt the cycle. There has been a movement to protect these areas, in some cases by special police. In some areas, such as the east coast of Florida, conservationists dig up sea turtle eggs and relocate them to fence nurseries to protect them from beach traffic. Another major threat to sea turtles is black market trade in eggs and meat. This is a problem throughout the world, but especially of concern in China, the Philippines, India, Indonesia, and the coastal nations of Latin America. Conservationists in Mexico and the United States have launched Don't Eat Sea Turtle campaigns in order to reduce this trade in sea turtle products. Climate change may also cause a threat to sea turtles. Since sand temperature at nesting beaches defines the sex of a sea turtle while developing in the egg, there is concern that rising temperatures may produce too many females. However, more research is needed to understand how climate change might affect sea turtle gender distribution and what other possible threats it may pose. Sea turtles are magnificent creatures, as curious about us as we are about them. Maybe they understand that we are also air-breathing animals when they see the air bubbles ascending to the surface when we exhale. They swim through water as a bird flies through air, using their powerful front flippers to propel themselves through the ocean waters as a bird uses its wings. These gentle creatures will remain in close human contact as long as no threatening affirmative movements are made by the scuba diver. We have witnessed sea turtles many times swimming gently and effortlessly with us, acting as tour guide and ambassador of the coral reefs they inhabit. When in close contact with these explorers of the sea, it makes every scuba diver feel as a child again, bringing excitement and providing a lifetime of memories. Their long lifespan, offset by the low ratio of one turtle surviving to adulthood for every 100 turtle eggs laid, makes it critical we all take action to protect these magnificent creatures.